What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is day one of our two days out here in Williamsport, Pennsylvania and we are actually at b b and Ballpark which is the home of the Williamsport Crosscutters and we're actually going to one of their games tonight but right across the street is where the original home of Little League was created. So that's why we're kind of out and about right now taking in some of the sites. Like I said, we are going to a game today. They're also preparing the stadium over here for what is the Little League Classic for two MLB teams to come in. And they're kind of working on a little bit right now. So the Crosscutters are the affiliate, the single A affiliate of the Philadelphia Phillies MLB team, which is actually kind of cool to have them. All right, so as you guys can see, there is a lot of stuff going on over there. And later on today, I'm going to be able to get a little bit better shot. But this is a good look at the front entrance of the park over here. As you can see, as you start to pan over, if I can keep it level, start panning over this way, you can start to see all the tents and construction that's going on for this. This is a game they show on ESPN every year. They've got the scaffolding back there that usually houses a, uh, I think a scoreboard back there. I know they have a bigger, I think they're doing a bigger scoreboard back over there for it as well. But I mean, this is a really, really nice, neat stadium. Kind of tucked in. If you like, don't look at the right place, you miss it. I mean, they're even cutting down some stuff over here just because you know it's getting set to be on national television so they got to kind of clean up some things here and there evan likes just picking at stuff sometimes <laughs> he's weird but yeah i mean this is did you where is it it looks like a four-leaf clover let me see hang on keep it still so nope that's only three leaves oh dang it We've come across the infamous mommy Jazzy combo. And what's going on? They're playing Pokemon Go. Pokemon. <laughs> now, like I said, right across the street from the ballpark that we're going to later is the original home of where the first Little League organized baseball was played here in the United States. We're going to go across the street and check this out. Welcome to the birthplace of Little League Baseball. This part where we're at isn't the actual compound that's on the south side of Williamsport. We're on just in regular Williamsport. We're just outside of Newberry. Yep. Which is the west side of Williamsport. Yep. And this complex little, little space here is where the original ball field that they played at plus another one is. And they've got some interesting stuff over here. For instance, this here. Where you got a nice little statue. And then there's also a plaque. Shows you that it was founded in 1938. Yeah, there's a bunch of people who have uh, Why not put their that? names on bricks and whatnot. The first 12 Little League World Series were played here from 1947 to 1958. This here behind us is actually one of the little, little museums. They don't really open this until it's actual Little League time. Um, I've never been inside of it. I lived here all my life. I've never been inside of it. Yeah, we've been, we've, we've been over to the other Little League Museum, which we'll link in this video and link in the description below. We went there last year, so you guys can take a look at that. Then there's also this plaque right over here. Uh, I don't know because I've got shadow going, but I'm sure you guys are getting a better look at it than I am. But there's a nice long look 
at that, and then if you come off over here. This is the original field. This is the original field itself. And as you can see, they're out actually cutting the lawn and everything because they're preparing for the Little League World Series that starts next week. Uh, parades in eight days, so yeah. Yep. <laughs> but there's actual, there's still Little League games that are played on these fields until this day. Um, I believe, I forget which one it is, but yeah, so, you know, a lot of the baseball teams are still still working and on these fields. You look at the dugouts and... The dugouts are old school. Yeah, the dugouts are very old school and they're very small as well. <laughs> but it kind of adds to the nostalgia. And then there's a look at how the PA box and the scorer did it because they actually do have out in center field there an actual working scoreboard which is very cool and they got a little pass through underneath to go to the other side they've got batting cages and they got batting cages and bullpens over on the other side there there's where you see that outside cage at there Remember when I said earlier that if you blink, you'd miss the ballpark? The ballpark is over there. It's behind trees. <laughs> That's why they put a big honking sign out front. <laughs> That's why that sign right there. Because if not, you'd miss it. <laughs> really quickly, this is the other field. This is the firefighter's field. This is the what they call firefighter's field. And it's just another, it's the other one. And let me get a better look at this. And there we go. There's a much better look at the ball field. That's on the other side. Because the other field, the original field's over there. But here's a look at the original, one of the originals. This is the add-on field. The other one's the, act, the actual original field <laughs> all right so parking lot I actually kind of spent a lot of time in because it used to be a softball field I played a lot of middle school ball here and this was before well they this built, massive expansion they, yeah they built quite out a bit at on Bowman field as I was growing up but um, it used to be just like a little dirt lot behind the uh, behind the the softball field and oh my goodness I the, the amount of times I went down the back of that hill <laughs> where they're cutting everything down at it used to be straight grass okay we're back in the hotel room after an amazing cross cutter game which was very cool I mean we've got souvenirs left and right going here <laughs> she got a hat he's got a oh, helmet. Got punched in the face with it. <laughs> yeah. He got a ball that was shot out of a cannon. A he got a ball fun. that was thrown at it. And we, the cutters won. Yep, yeah, and the cutters won. Hey, calm down, man. And then uh, we got a baseball given to us that was hit as a home run, I think, in practice or a game before. I think it's practice. Uh, so that was cool. So we got to take that home. But day one is complete, and the next thing you see is tomorrow yes. morning when we wake up to go to Knobles. So for now... And their sponsor is... Oh, stop. Good night. <laughs>